Oh, the game's starting. Oh, the game's starting, but it's small. What's happening? The game's small! I gotta make an overlay for this sh Guys, the game's small. The game is small, and I don't think I can do anything about it. Maybe in the settings of the game? Only one way to find out. Huh. Animu, you're a genius. Fucking no! It's <laughs> Stop! Can't quite- My fucking- Alright, let me explain to you guys my dilemma. The- the resolution is 16 by 9, but the fucking bar at the top is still here. So it cuts off the bottom. Oh, ah, wait, wait, I made it go up past it. Never mind. False alarm. Oh, look at that. All right, the levels are good. My vintage of the night is ready. All right, welcome to Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright. I said that backwards. We are jumping into a new series. I'm fucking stoked. I'm ready. Objection is don't. Nico, are you going to be doing that? Are you going to be doing that every 30 seconds for the rest of this game? Because it's going to get old. All right. <clears throat> Here's the deal. <laughs> Welcome aboard. We are starting what I'm hoping will be a good series of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney and the, and the proceeding games. Um, I don't know much of this at all about it. Um, I know it's a visual novel. Um, I played the Danganronpa games back in the day. What's the matter, MC Gaming Lab? Why are you yelling at me, huh? Um, I played the Danganronpa games. I fucking loved them. Oh yeah, Nico, I forgot you had that. I forgot you had Zelda. Um, and I loved the hell out of them. And I wanted an authentic experience for the people who watch. So I couldn't play those, because it's like, well, I already know what the fuck's gonna happen. Um, and then I was told to play... This! I was told to play this. All I know about this game is objection! And and a sexy clown. Um, which may or may not even be this trilogy. Um, that's it. So we're gonna do a blind playthrough of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney starting now. Um, all I- I also know that obviously that it's about a courtroom. Um, and like- like a- like a lawyer sort of simulator. I'm gonna be getting fucking Better Call Saul vibes from this. The first turnabout is our first thingy here. Alright, 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 alright. Let me move my logo down a little bit. There we go. There we go. I mean, I guess so, right? We're just hopping in. Let's do it. Play the first turnabout. Yeah. The Animu Classic. What, down there, the logo? I love it. This game came out in 2001, I believe, by the way. Gasp, gasp! I'm gonna be the, I'm gonna be all the characters. By the way, hey. oh, somebody got fucking murked. Animu, damn it! Why me? I can't get caught. Not like this. <laughs> Why does he have a someone like him? What, what is happening? I'll make it look like he did it. Okay. All right, cool. So this man, this man killed this man and pinned it on that man. Oh, you're damn right, Animu. August 3rd, 9.47 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby, number two. How's the game audio for you guys? Not too loud? Okay, here, this is an important one, all right? This is important because this is the main dude. This is going to follow me for the rest of this fucking however long we play this. <clears throat> Boy, am I nervous! <laughs> I'm sorry. Shouldn't be doing that into the mic. <clears throat> I think maybe I'm going to give him me. <clears throat> Boy, am I nervous. Mia, I assume is a girl. Right! Whoa, okay. Um. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hiya, chief. What, uh, what did you wear to court today? Phew, I'm glad I made it on time. Why you call me bald, huh? You call me bald for, huh? I got hair. It's hiding in here. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you and your client as well. Just that damn good, baby. Um, thanks. <clears throat> Nico, how dare you? Actually, 
Uh, actually, it's because I owe him a fate. Here, you know what? I'm gonna throw you guys in. I'm gonna throw you guys in. So I, when I read, I tend to look, especially visual novels, I tend to look at the text before the name. Every time I start to use the wrong voice on a line of dialogue, I'll take a sip of drink. And if I finish the drink, I'll go get another one, and then I'll get another one. All right, the stakes are high. It's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean you knew the defendant before this case? Yeah. Yes. Is there a way I can... Yes, I can hit enter. Okay. I just want to get the mouse off the screen for you guys. She got brown eyes. She's got cute eyes. Look at her. This, is, this has um heavy, like, Nintendo DS vibes to it. Uh, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. You're damn right. You're damn right, Animo. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I thought I did it right there. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over. My life. Everything. It's all over. Oh! <laughs> Is that your client screaming over there? <laughs> I turn around and it's like fucking, it's like fucking like Woody. Yeah, it's him. Death, despair. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. Sounds like he wants to die. Nah, nah, nah. That's uh, he wants to say he wants to roll some die. Um, yeah. <sighs> God, what the hell is this now? <laughs> this is some anime shit. <clears throat> Nick! Hey, I'm changing Nick's voice. Hey. Hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty! Tell them I'm guilty! Give me the death sentence! I ain't afraid to die! What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I... I'm finished. Finished! I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who? Ah, fuck me, I just did it right there. Who? Who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? I'm looking like Max Penalty before he lost his hair. You shut it. Ah, uh, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? Hmm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death. Okay, so this isn't the guy. Unless, oh no, no, it was the girl. That's right, the girl got murked at the beginning. Is his girlfriend. Okay. Presumably, I'm gonna have to do some deduction here, so we gotta stay sharp. We gotta be strategic, okay? I'm gonna need your help. Especially after I start down in this. <clears throat> the newspapers say it was you. Oh shit. Was it uh, Larry? Was it Larry? My name is Phoenix Wright. I should have given him the fucking Inspector Gadget voice. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first. No, 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 no. Listen, all right, I know how this works. I'm not falling into that trap. My first case is a fairly simple one. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her, Larry Butts. I wish I could make my mouth do that. <laughs> my best friend since grade school. Oh shit, all right, they got a history. Our school was saying, when something smells, it's usually the butts. Aww. In the 20 years since I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. Unlike somebody in Danganronpa, who shall remain nameless. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That, and I own one. Which is why I took the case to clear his name. And that's just what I'm gonna do! You guys ready for this? There's one thing that I didn't tell you guys is that I'm just like, like probably like one or I'm probably like the second or third best lawyer in the world. Um. Oh shit, we're here. All right. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. <laughs> the prosecution's ready, Your Honor. The, um, defense is ready, your honor. <clears throat> Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Y yes your honor I'm, um, a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. I mean, I guess so. 
All right, all right, St Nico, please. Yeah, the, the trial hasn't begun yet. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your... I read that as pervs, and I don't know why. I apologize. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your... I, I think that's not necessary, Judge. I think we can move on. Yes, Your Honor. Gulp. Hands shaking. Eyesight fading. Mom's spaghetti. I couldn't... Uh, listen, all right? I had to fight every fiber of my being not to say that right there, all right? I apologize. <laughs> all right, we gotta get serious. We, we gotta... We gotta do this for... We gotta do this for Larry. The test will consist of a few simple questions. <clears throat> Answer them clearly and concisely. <laughs> Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Larry Butts. The defendant. Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Correct. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. I mean, you're gonna have to do better than that, dude. This is a murder trial. What's the victim's name? Phew, I know this one, except I don't because I didn't read the case report. <laughs> you son of a bitch. He screwed me, okay? No way, I forgot I'm drawing a total blank here. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name? Oh, the victim? Of course I know the victim's name. It's, uh, I just forgot. Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. You watch your tone, Mia, all right? I don't know if I'm in love with it. <clears throat> Look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. Just press tab. <laughs> Imagine, like, you're, you're sitting, like, next to, like, your defenders in court. And they're fucking talking to each other, and one of them's like, just press the tab button to check the name of this person. The attorney's badge, no. Cindy's autopsy report. Cause of death, loss of blood due to blunt trauma. Died between 4 and 5 p.m. on 31st of July. Okay. Remember to check it off and do it for me, please. I'm begging you. <clears throat> Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this case? Cinder Block. <laughs> That's actually a cool fucking name. That would be my. Can we all? Can we all make a, a pact right here that if any, if if all of us ever form like the DG Tinderbox Pro Wrestling Federation, that I get the name Cinderblock. I get Cinderblock. What would you guys be? <laughs> what would your uh, What would your wrestler name be? I I call Cinderblock. That's so close to my name. I'm gonna be DG Cinderblocks. Hell yeah! Look at that can't make that shit up. We're Cindy Stone. Um, the victim's name? It's Cindy Stone. Stone wasn't in the case report, but just trust me on that. Correct! Now tell me, what was the cause of death? She got booped on the snoot. <clears throat> Hunkamoo? Animu? The Neekster Brick. You don't, you, you, you can't put brick. It's too close to block. It's too close to cinder block. You don't get brick. <laughs> MC Gaming Lab, don't make me, don't make me time you. I, I will give you the password to the channel and my bank account, and then I will drain the bank account, and I will drain the channel of its ad revenue, and then I will ban you. She's struck by a blunt force object. Correct. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. <laughs> the Neekster. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You seem much more relaxed, Judge Mr. Wright. I mean, good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed as we're here. Well then, <clears throat> first a question for the prosecution, Mr. Payne. Mr. Payne? Can you ask your honor? As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt force, a blunt ob object. Would you care to explain to the court what that object was? The murder, the murder, fuck! Well, the murder weapon was this statue of the thinker. The blunt object of D's nut. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. Max Payne. <laughs> I see. The court accepts in evidence. <laughs> Statue in the shape of thinker. It's rather heavy. Okay. What's the matter, Animu? Don't give me that face. Don't give me that little face. Right. <clears throat> I apologize. Be 
sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in the court. Use tab again to check the court record frequently. Mr. Payton, the prosecution. <laughs> They're bots on the stand. Um, Chief, what do I do now? Fuck! That wasn't her, was it? <sighs> I need to pay attention. If we're gonna get out of this sober, I need to pay attention. Um, like what she said. Yeah, you don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything... Unfortunate. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. <laughs> Ooh, I like this guy's style, though. Ahem. Uh, Mr. Bunce, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy. Is that the voice I gave him? It is now. Watch it, buddy. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra, and Mark Anthony. Um... Didn't they all die? <laughs> I mean, everybody dies eventually, Phoenix. I wasn't dumped. She just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me ever. You know what? I'm, I'm doing a quick change, all right? We're doing a quick change to his voice. I have a better voice for him. <laughs> What's it to you? <laughs> What's it to you anyway? Yeah, here we go. This is, this is better for him, I think. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Bots, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean, one of them? Lies! All of it lies! I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> Those eyes are horrible. Uh, you're out of the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris till the day before she died. My passport's right here. I could reach up and grab it and dox myself right now. But I'm not going to. According to this, she was in the Baba. The victim arrived home from Paris the day before the murder, July 30th. Okay. Mm, indeed, she appears to have returned the day before the murder. Oh, dude, no way. <laughs> Those eyes are horrible, dude. <laughs> oh, the victim was a model, ooh, but did not have a large income. Appears she had several sugar daddies. This is going to have some dated shit in it, isn't it? Daddies? Sugar? Ass. Older man who gave her money. Gifts. I wish I knew what that was like. She took her money. And it was a spawn and lifestyle. Dude! Oh, I knew I gave him the right voice. I knew. I knew I gave him the right voice right away. She a gold digger. <laughs> now we are talking. We can clearly see what kind of a woman this Miss Stone was. It's pain. I'm telling Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right! This guy's an asshole. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I? We can see it stop him from answering, duh. As, as tempting as it is to just let him fuck himself over, we gotta, we gotta win here, ladies and gentlemen. The purpose of life is to win, of course. Oh, I thought he was gonna do the thing. My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. Oh, that question is irrelevant to this case. <laughs> Sorry. Oof, wince. Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? That cheating she-dog? I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dad. And when I meet her in court, I'm gonna what? Get to what? Let's just get- I'm not doing that. That did it on its own. Let's just continue with the trial, shall we? Hang on. I lost the voice there. It's only fair. I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is so not looking good. Next quiet Nah, fuck, I did it again. Ah. Uh, you went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Gulp. Cool. <laughs> well, didn't you or did you not? Judge, the uh, the prosecution is a dickhead. <laughs> well, maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Uh-oh, he went. It's <laughs> good. What do I do? Have me answer honestly. No. 
No, 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 no. If we stop him, we are going to be accused of... We're going to be accused of fucking interfering. I know. I'll send him a signal. <laughs> we got to give him like a... Yeah, yeah, it was there. I went. That doesn't mean anything, all right? That doesn't mean a damn thing. Order well, Mr. Butts. Dude, chill. She wasn't home, man. So, like, I didn't see her. See, I knew that was the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah I, they can't fool me. He did the thing! <clears throat> Can we get an objection counter? Hold on. Hold on, we need an objection counter. This is important. That's, oh, that's the wrong button. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's get, let's get a better, cooler looking font. Yeah, this is lawyery. Yeah, this is real lawyery. Where is it? Where is it? Where did it go? Hang on. It says it's there. Hang on. I fucked something up. Oh. Objection counter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah! Um, it's gotta be a hell of a lot smaller than that, though. In fact, you know what I gotta do? Hang on. We're gonna go like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we're gonna slide it. We're gonna make it real tiny. Is that too tiny? No, that's 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 a nice amount of tiny, I think. Um and that was our first objection. Hang on, now it's got to be centered in that little square because I have OCD. <laughs> All right. Objection counter is numero that is correcto Nico. Number 1. Um, and that's got that sucker's got to be red. That sucker's got to be red. Red as the day is long. Yes. 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 Just want to take a big bite out of it, but I won't. I'll put it over here. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. Now we are talking. I apologize for the brief, uh, the brief hiatus there, folks. Let's move on. All right. Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Fuck you, glasses. Lying? Uh, the prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? A uh, man who found the victim's body. Just before making the gruesome discovery, he saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Um... Your Honor, uh, the prosecution is a is a lying scumbag. Request to adjourn. That's a bunch of bunch of bunch of Order the court. Mr. Pen, Mr. Pen, oh, fuck, I did it again. I need to. I need to stop. Ah, uh, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. This is bad. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank saw it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. That was a that was a fun little romp. We're gonna move on to the, to the stand. Are you fucking me? Oh, it's the guy! It's the guy! This is the guy! No, Nico, this is the guy. <coughs> Mr. Saw, you sell newspaper subscriptions. Is this correct? All right, I got to change his voice from what I gave it because now that I know he's going to be here. I got to. Oh, yes. Newspapers. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Saw, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Witness testimony. Witnesses account. Okay. 
I was going door to door, selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing the apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment and then I saw her lying there. A woman. A not moving. You know there's a chocolate bar named Whatchamacallits? I know I love Whatchamacallits. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. Went to a nearby park and found a pubic phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. <clears throat> that was some two or three hours before the murder. The man who ran was without a doubt the defendant. Bullshit, Captain. The murder occurred between 4 and 5 p.m. I don't want to hear it. He didn't see shit. Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? Can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? And your honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Not in 2001. <coughs> yes, your honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. I was referring to cordless phones. Uh, the phone that Mr. Sawant used was that fucking dinosaur over there. Do any of you guys in chat remember having one of those? Do any of you in chat still have one of those? They were right. It was fun, like, having your sibling, like, jump on the internet and it pisses you off because it cuts your phone out. Your Honor, I have a record of blackout for your perusal. Electricity to Miss Stone's building was cut out from noon to 6 p.m. the day of the crime, so it would have been out when the murder happened. You don't. It was, uh, it was a dark time, Nico. <laughs> <coughs> I remember it semi-fondly. No, Mr. Wright. Yes, er, yes, your honor. You may begin your cro- This is gonna fuck my voice up, let me tell you. I'm, I'm here for it, all right? I know what I signed up for. This is gonna be worth it. You may begin your cross-examination. See cross-examination, your honor. All right, right. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why, you expose the lies and the testimony the witness just gave. It was like 15 years ago. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Lies? What? He was lying? Your client is innocent, right? Well, I mean, innocent is a is a word that, that can be construed a few different ways, especially if I stand to make more money if I win. Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. I'm just kidding. There, there's, there's no way that every lawyer is a dishonest scumbag. Or is your client really guilty? Exclamation point. How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness testimony. Then once you've found the contradicting evidence, present it and do 70 more things so DG has to keep speaking in this voice. Um, okay. Open the court record once again with tab. Then point out the contradiction of the testimony. <coughs> Ma'am, she did wear quite a quite an outfit to court. <laughs> Alright, look at this fucker. Witness account. I was going door to door, selling subscription when I saw him from the apartment. Thought he might be a man in a hurry, because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it's strange, I looked inside the apartment, then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving dead. It's the same thing. Quailed in fright, thought to call the police immediately phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. He went to the park and found a public phone because the other phone wasn't working. It was 1 o'clock p.m. The man who ran was without a doubt that defendant. That's all of it. There must be a contradiction there somewhere. Examine the court record with tab. The sun strikes you as boop -a bop beeps. Okay. Oh, I have to do it as it's going. Okay, all right. <coughs> all right, let's... let's... Let's be, let's be strategic here. Selling subscriptions. Saw man fleeing the apartment. Thought he might be in a hurry. I know, I already pointed that out, MC. Thinking it's strange, I looked inside the apartment. I just want to make sure. Saw her lying there. Woman not moving, dead. I quailed in front and found myself unable to go inside. Thought to call the police immediately. How, eh, 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 eh. 
Wrong! Bullshit, Grandpa! Oh, he did the thing! He did the thing! You found the body at 1 p.m. You are sure? Hang on, hang on. We gotta up our counter. <laughs> you found the body at 1 p.m.? You're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Yeah, all right, fucker. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. <laughs> I was just gonna do that. Oh my god. I was gonna go, this envelope contradicts your autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death was sometime after 4 p.m. Yeah, no spoilers. Although that one was pretty easy. There was no body to, er, no body to find at 1 p.m. How do you explain the three hour gap? Oh, we got him, we got him, we got him, boys, we got him. Hang on, I'm fucking up over here. There we go. Exclamation point! Yeah. Oh, that, uh, er. Fuck, this is gonna, this is gonna go up very quickly, isn't it? This is, fuck, I did it again. No! Guys, this sucks. I'm so bad at this. I accidentally just changed the overlay. I'm sorry. Now this is... Fuck! Ah! Uh. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Yeah, me too. Mr. Sawit. Why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, uh, well, I... Gee, that's a really good question. Great job, Mr. Wright. We'd put him on the spot. You're goddamn right. That's all you have to do. Point out the contradictions. I mean, there's more to a lawyer than that. Lies always beget more lies. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. Thank you, Mia. <clears throat> Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? No, not a fucking, ugh. The time of discovery. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. <laughs> what do you mean you heard the time? <laughs> there was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Ball! Hockey. Oh, but it was there. It was three hours old, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. Except no idiot tapes things anymore. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. I mean, that is actually... In 2001, that's solid. But not really. Like, it's very... That's all circumstantial. Mr. Wright, you... Ah, fuck! Mr. Wright, you may crawl... By the way, the entire series is not gonna be this game. This... This session is this game, alright? <laughs> You may cross the witness. <clears throat> right! You know what to do. I've... I, fuck! <laughs> Got this one. So, by the way, when we do the repeats like this, when it's doing the cross-examination, I don't have to say it all. When it's in green, I don't have to say it all. <laughs> Alright, what you got, motherfucker? When I f oh, you know what? <coughs> this one's easy. When I found the body, heard the time. There was a voice saying that I was probably coming from the television. Except, fucker, the television wasn't working because electricity was cut out from noon to 6 p.m. the day of the crime and you said it happened at 1 o'clock. So, fuck you. Ow! I'll take that. I'll take that. That's four, baby. That's not 34. That's four. That's four, ladies and gentlemen. Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. <clears throat> yeah, look at this fucker over here. Look at him. Look at him. You thought. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. Go. <laughs> I will irk. The defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawit? Oh, no, I, I find it quite puzzling myself, quite. Perhaps he was on his iPad. That future device. 
Oh, uh, wait, I remember now. Mister saw it. Fuck! <laughs> Stop! The court would prefer to hear the accurate tells from the very beginning. <coughs> These constant corrections, they're harming your credibility. That and you seem rather distraught. Exclamation point. Oh, my apologies, Your Honor. It uh, must have been a shock of finding the body. We already know that he's the fucking guy who killed him, but they don't. Here, well, Mr. Sort. What are you fucking talking about? I don't have amnesia. I'm pu I just don't fucking pay attention. I don't pay attention. I don't read the little blue, the little blue box before I read the text over here. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. <laughs> no! Hearing the time. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock. Listen, all right, at this point, any fucking court would immediately discredit this guy. You can't just keep inventing new shit. There was a table clock in the above the bar that wasn't there. Yes, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. You saw a clock. I guess that would explain it. Except the clock wouldn't have fucking said one o'clock. <coughs> the defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. <laughs> Hearing the time. All right. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. What are you fucking talking about, amigo? What are you talking about? The murder weapon's not a clock, it's a statue. It's a statue, not a clock. That's another that's another one for us. I gotta speed I gotta speed up my typing in of that. <clears throat> the murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was this 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 statue. It's in the fucking courtroom. What are you talking about? How is this supposed to be a clock? Oh, with your injections and your evidence. Just <laughs> Alright, that's kinda of funny. Just answer the question, Mr. Sawin. Hey, I, I saw it there, okay? That's a clock! On your honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. Doesn't count. I My voice cracked, alright? <clears throat> As the witness stated, the statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it. That says the time out loud. Bullshit? It doesn't look like a clock, I submit it as a statue, my apologies. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Who the fuck would make a table clock in the shape of a statue that if you turn the head it says the time? Piers the witness's testimony was correct, this is a clock. <laughs> Alright, this is funny. Do you have any problems with this testimony? Yes! No. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> Your Honor. There's a gaping hole in the witness's testimony in that it's fucking stupid. The only way he would have known the weapon was a clock would be to hold in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Oh shit, we got him, boys. We got him. Clearly a contradiction. And if it proves to be true... Alright, look, he wasn't in the apartment, right? If they twist that thing's head and it goes, The time is 342. If it does that then we know he knew it was a clock, but that he wasn't in the apartment at the time, supposedly. Which means not only did he just fuck up his own theory, but he also incriminates himself. Oh, I'm liking this game already, boys and girls. I am already liking this. Indeed. I, I know, it's child's play, okay? It's the fucking tutorial. Don't, don't at me. Don't at me, chat. Don't at me, YouTube. Don't at me. The witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. You're lying, fucker. You were inside the apartment dating murder. Oh yeah, I'll prove it, prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. You struck her with the clock and that shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. <laughs> Order in the court, intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. I got this fucker now. Look at him. There he is. Mr. Saw It. 
The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. Fuck. I'm gonna regret this objection counter pretty damn quick, aren't I? What's the me? Ah, fuck. This is all baseless conjecture. Oh, ho, ho. Baseless. Just look at the witness's face. <laughs> oh, ah. Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, I, that day, I never look at her. No, Shut up, shut up, shut up. I hate you. He, he was fading his voice. See, see, see what's going on here? <clears throat> it was him. I tell you, I saw him. He killed her, and he should burn. Burn. Give him death. Whisper, whisper, whisper. You shut it, Nico. Ball is beautiful. Order the court, I say. Your Honor, a moment, please. I wonder if there's no shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright. What? You claim the sound of the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? <clears throat> the whole case is riding on this. Better think through carefully. All right. Your Honor, the sound Mr. Saw it heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply... <clears throat> um... Fuck. Half bald, half beautiful. Yeah, the bald half. Um... All right. I could see examining the clock's batteries, because if he killed them between four and five, the clock's batteries would have to be not dead. No, no, no. No, 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 no. First of all, let's fucking see if it's a clock at all. Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? Give me the fucking clock. I ask the court to listen very carefully. Chat, that's you. <clears throat> Beep. <laughs> I think it's 825. <laughs> that certainly is very true to most of the time. So it's a clock. All right. Well, he is the thinker after all. <laughs> so, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. White? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? Oh! It's 1125. Ack. Yep, motherfucker, you see that? As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Wow. In, in, re in real life, nobody would be stupid enough to, to fuck up that badly as the, as the witness did, right? Precise discrepancy between what Mr. Saw had heard and the actual... It's precisely the actual discrepancy. So, Mr... Ah, fuck me! There goes that. Try to talk your way out of this one. Dot to dot. <gasps> oh yeah, that's right. <clears throat> you forgot one thing. What's he talking about now? While it may seem like the clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? You can't prove that. You don't have a case. Exclamation point. He's kind of right. I'm gonna prove that. Damn it. I was so... Excuse me. Mr. Wright, it seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. Exclamation point. Yes, Your Honor. That means I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately. This ends the cross-examination, Mr. Frank. So I... Come all the way down and testify. And look what happens. I go bald. You treat me like a criminal! Criminal! You lawyers are all slime. Jameson, you slime. <laughs> Grr, I almost had him. <clears throat> Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. God damn it. Somehow. Oh! Not 
walked so fast, Mr. Soil. <laughs> Mia! I mean, Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But she... Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna have to get a new one on the next one, so let's hope we don't have to do that. Chief, it's over. Can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out, out of the box. It's not really the fucking term. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? It was triple daylight savings time? Figure out the reason you have your proof. <clears throat> right, right? Can't you think of a reason as to why the clock can be three hours slow? Oh, mercy. Hang on. Why would the clock be three hours slow? Can I still look at the set? Yes, I can. All right. Because the power was cut? It wouldn't have been wireless. Because the power was cut. The power was cut three hours prior. Well, yeah. but the power went out at noon. The power went out at noon, so why would the statue say it was one? I don't know, but I, that's the best lead I got, so we're going with the power outage. Dot to dot. Wait! Maybe I can prove it. You must have that in somewhere. Fuck! Yeah. Hang on, I unplugged all my shit. Don't go anywhere. Thank you guys for waiting. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to grab a new. I had to grab a new brew. My fucking headphone cable got stuck on the chair and tripped me. Not once, but twice. There we go. All right. I think. I think that's the. I think the power outage is the way to go. Find it and let him have it. Well, Mr. Wright. You say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course. There's a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! <laughs> Tough words. Let's see, pull this one off. Let's see if it's proof. It was this over here. Well, hang on, hang on. Let's let's make double sure. So this does nothing. It's rather heavy, does nothing. The victim did arrive home from Paris. The only reason I got nervous there is because we didn't use this yet. The victim arrived home from Paris. By the way, this is a clear inspiration for the Danganronpa series. Um, the day before the murder. But her having been gone to Paris does not necessarily mean that the clock would have run out. I mean, she bought it in Paris. She didn't buy it in Paris. They never said that. I think it's a blackout. Take that! Excuse me, this proves your claim how? I can't see what evidence this has to do with the clock. Oh, fuck you! Ugh, ugh, ugh. Nico, don't spoil me. <laughs> It's battery operated? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Please give me one more chance. Time is not on your side. Just be quick about it. Let's see this evidence. Fuck you. You got, oh, you haven't played it? Oh shit. Nico, you called it. I didn't, I, I, I never noticed that she bought it in Paris. That was out, that was outside of my, uh... when did it say that? I didn't even see that. <laughs> Um, no, Nico, you're right. That makes perfect sense to me. Take that. Take that instead. 
The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. Who was the broad he was seeing? As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours, Nico. Nico, they're in Japan, not... <laughs> it's gonna be three hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's one o'clock in the morning. In the morning! The next day there, the clock wasn't three hours slow, it was nine hours fast! No way! No, I would not have fucking noticed that. I would not have caught that. Thank God it gave us a second chance. All right, I've learned a valuable lesson here, folks. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Asshole. Or should I say Mr. Did It? Yeah! <laughs> well done, Nico. Europa. Oh, he's going nuts. What's he gonna throw at me now? His teeth? Oh, God! He fucking foamed. He foamed. Order! Order, I say! I think we killed him. Well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all imagined. Mr. Payne, your witness. Here, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Well, fuck. Yeah, what, what I said. Ms. Wright! Yes, Your Honor? I have to say I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly. And find the true culprit at the same time! Thank you, Your Honor. I'm just that damn good. At this point, this is only a formality, but... This court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts. <clears throat> Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, that's good stuff. That's good stuff right there. And we did it all without a single error, a single hitch. And with that, this court is adjourned. Ow! I like this. I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> Turns out that Frank saw it was a common burglar. He wasn't even, it wasn't even personal. He just wanted to kill him, uh, to take his shit, I mean. He posed as a newspaper salesman, check and see when the people were out of the house that day. Motherfucker. When Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Saw it let himself in to do his dirty work. There he is. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Saw it grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find and booped her on the snoot. Aw, aw, ugh. August the 3rd, 2.30 p.m. All right, we made it, ladies and gentlemen. Well done. Thank you, Nico. That was a good, that was a good fucking, good, uh, good eye on your part. Don't spoil it too much for me. Um, I still can't believe we won. In fact, don't spoil it for me at all. <laughs> Not that that was spoiling, because I did fuck up anyway. Uh, right, good job in there. Congratulations. For thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all, not at all. You fought your own battles in there. Did I? Did I? Did I? Nico. I know, but I gotta I've gotta try to I've gotta try to work this out too. No no, continue doing what you're doing. I'm just gonna try to figure it out as well. It's been awesome to have seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. Almost like this is a video game. Never seen the chief looking this happy. She's this glad. Imagine how Larry must feel. He doesn't give a fuck. Oh. Oh. My life is over. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? I mean, his fucking girlfriend died. There's that. Oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. I don't like that. Good wait. No, I mean bad. Bad, bad, bad. Yeah, yeah. You know what he said. Bad news bears. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But, but my Cindy Wendy's gone, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was, a. Uh... Go on, Phoenix. What were you going to say there? Hey, hey, Mia. Congratulations, Harry. <laughs> Harry? 
Yes, you! I can practically see the headlines now! Harry Butts Innocent! <laughs> um, uh, thanks. I really owe you one. If I was sleeping with my- would it be- would it be weird, Nico? Would it be weird, or would it be destiny? I changed the RGB on my keyboard. Yes, I have an RG key, 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 key board. Don't mock me. I won't forget this ever. Let's celebrate dinner, movie, my treat. Oh, he's such a. F I couldn't. <laughs> hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh, hey. Uh, here, take this. It's a present. A present for me? Yeah, it's got like that woman's blood and hair all over it. Enjoy. Wasn't the evidence that? Actually, I made this clock for her. I made this one for her and one for me. Really? You, you made this? He's such a dickhead. Thank you, I'll keep it a memento. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And, and she was just playing me for a fool. Don't that just make you want to cry? Sob. Larry, you're a dumbass. Mia. Are you so sure? Exquiz me? God damn, this is so bad. So early 2000s. I love it, though. I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me, Sukai. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show our friend? Something that proves how she felt about it. Oh, yeah, right? <clears throat> what the heck is she talking about? My badge! <laughs> that I got for being a defense attorney. Because that's something that attorneys get, right? A badge? Um, don't... Uh, that's a legitimate question. I don't know. Her autopsy? She loved you so much that she died of blunt trauma to the head. <laughs> um... The fact that she didn't stay in Paris forever? Or the fact that she kept his- She kept his statue! She kept the statue! If she didn't like him, or if he was just another side boy, she wouldn't keep this ugly ass statue. Take that. Take that. Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Huh? But what about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. She took it with her when she tr She did take it with her, that's right. We thought she bought it there. She took it with her, holy shit. Look at that. Look at that. True love is bringing your, bringing your, your fucking significant other's clock with you. Whatever, she probably just need a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Butts. Well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Oh, oh, that's kind of wholesome. That's kind of nice. I'm gonna turn my mic volume down a little. I didn't realize it was a little noisy. Woo! There we go. Glad I asked you to be my lawyer, but really I am. Thanks. Hope that made him feel a little better. <clears throat> didn't make me feel any better. Made me feel like I have a sore throat now. Right? I hope you see the importance of evidence now. I always saw the importance of evidence, Mia. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. Yeah, yeah. In order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Chat. Animu. Right. Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Thank you. Well, we've done our work. Here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. How about dinner? On me. Don't mind if I do. Can, uh, can it be whipped cream? We drink toast to innocent butts. I like innocent butts. You don't believe in yourself, Nico? Nico, you better. You better. Don't make me get the puppet to tell you. <laughs> <clears throat> Speaking of Harry. It's Larry. You're saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Yeah, part at least. 
You'll have to tell me more about it sometime, maybe over drinks. Oh, shit! Don't mind if I do, Amiga. And so my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. Nico, oh my god. Pretty sure she's not gonna pay us. Unless you count the clock you gave me a Johnny Depp. Oh, <laughs> Animu. I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. Oh, shit! Here we go. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise I wouldn't be able to keep. Oh, fuck! What does this mean? How could the clock be at the center of another thing? <clears throat> a brand new episode has been added. Save me them progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Turnabout Sisters. Okay. I mean, I might have to call it for, for tonight here, guys. Um, for the... For the YouTubers who, who don't know, basically we're streaming over at twitch.tv slash dgtinderbox, if you are curious. Um, we streamed before this for about an hour and change, so my voice is shredded. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to end it here tonight, all right, guys? Just because it's, it's getting a little late. We've been at it for a while. Um, I think this is a good stopping point. <clears throat> so here's what we're going to do. Um, I want to pick this up again on Tuesday. Yeah, we're going to call it. We're going to call it a night. But this is fun. We're going to be doing some more. Like the way they, it, it's not dissimilar. I know I, I already fucking said Danganronpa, but it's not dissimilar to that in like where like the the witness gets gradually more flustered and starts like fucking sweating and throwing shit. And I love it. Um, so we are going to pick this up on Tuesday. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and upload this to YouTube um, in its entirety. Um, but for now, that's going to be, that's going to be a stream. We're going to call it. So yes, I am glad you guys stuck around for the night. Thank you for, thank you for chilling. I will see you guys on Tuesday for some more. That's the, uh, the 27th of this month, 27th of September. I will see you guys there for an additional round of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Till then. Have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your weekends. Hasta luego. Goodbye.